Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dying Chronic. You're here on this Destiny 2 video, and today we're going to be showing you the weekly reset for January 21st, 2020. Showing everything that has reset, has changed, and updated uh, for this particular week. And there's going to be a lot of stuff going on right now. First and foremost, Iron Banner is going to be going on this week. It's the second time we've seen Iron Banner in Season 9, and Iron Banner only happens uh, three to four times uh, per season, depending on how long that season is, because the seasons aren't always the same length. So if you're looking to get some of that pinnacle gear, or just trying to get the armor and weapons, or just continue the progress of the pursuit, uh, make sure you go ahead and do that. Some things to note is that the rocket launcher step has been cleared for everyone. So when you get to that step, it'll just auto clear, you do not have to do it. On top of that, there will be an increased Valor week, so it's going to be two times for the week and three times for the weekend. On top of that, there's also some other things going on this week. First and foremost, we as a community have finished the Corridors of Time puzzle. Uh, so you can see on screen the quarters of time is actually limited This is the last week to do anything relating to the quarters of time So if you want to go get that special emblem or complete any of the lore you have to do all of it Literally all of it this week before uh, the end of this week uh, to be able to get all of it So when I logged in today, I received a message about Saint 14 and the Bastion weapon Apparently I can just speak with him and start uh, a quest line in order to get it Now Bastion was originally supposed to be releasing on January 28th uh, one week from today, but the community has completed the puzzle sooner than Bungie realized and the Bastion exotic weapon was actually the reward for completing uh, that particular puzzle. Uh, so a lot of people already had the Bastion last week um, and from what I heard, they're going to be unlocking the regular quest for the Bastion at this point this week for those of the people who haven't done the puzzle. But I logged into the character that I did a couple of puzzles of time on, not the full quest, and uh, he doesn't have the Bastion or anything at all. So uh, I might have like a glitch game or something, or you might actually have to do a bit on the Puzzles of Time or the Quarters of Time puzzle uh, to be able to actually get that quest going. So um, please let me know if that's the case or if I just have a bugged out game, because that happens pretty frequently when I load up the weekly reset too early. Weekly Reset! Moving on to the regular weekly reset, starting up at the Nightfalls and the Nightfall Ordeal. This week we're going to have the Arms Dealer for the Nightfall Ordeal. This is going to be one of the base game missions. Lots of Cabal, Big Chartreuse Sniper, Cabal at the very end. He has Scorched Earth enemies throw grenades more often. That one's always a lot of fun. And he drops the exotic sparrow known as Tilt Fuse. The other Nightfalls, first off we have Exodus Crash. Not a very popular strike whatsoever. The Invisible Vandal at the very end and he drops the... I, the exotic sparrow, which I, every single time, I forget what the hell that thing is called. What is that thing? Impact Velocity! After that, we have Seventh in Song, the big purple shrieker at the end of the base game mission, dropping the duty-bound auto rifle, and then finally, the Warden of Nothing, the Prison of Elder Forsaken mission with the big servitor at the end that drops the two-burst hand cannon, the Warden's Law. The fastest strike this week is either going to be Seventh in Song, or actually probably the Ordeal Arms Dealer. Arms Dealer is actually one of the shorter ones, it's a base game. Um, and it's actually pretty short, but also pretty dense. The highest scoring is definitely going to be Warden of Nothing, one of the highest scoring in the entire game. The heroic modifier for this week will be Void Singe. As for Crucible this week, obviously we do have Iron Banner, 6v6 control, level advantage is enabled, so you want to be the highest possible power that you can on the character with the most power advantage. Uh, on top of that, we also have Team Scorched, one of my favorite game modes of all time in Destiny 2. Everybody has a Scorched Cannon. And if you do play this game mode, here's a secret. Hold down the fire button, release it when you want it to explode. And that really, really helps out because everybody's going to be in the air. And the other game mode's going to be Showdown. 4v4 team, nobody really cares. It's reviving, elimination, and whatever. <laughs> but it's true. Nobody cares about it. And because we are in the Crucible section, just wanted to show off the different available bounties because there are four available bounties for Pinnacle Gear, but this is four out of seven specific ones. So if you wanted to know which ones there were, uh, first of all, it's going to be defeating an opponents while assisted by other teammates. Uh, we have, uh, while having zone advantage, getting kills, uh, getting wins and completing matches, and then finally just defeating opponents and opponents of higher power level. And obviously you will have uh, the pursuit that you can follow to get the full set of the armor, unlock the faction reward uh, engram, obviously you have to complete that quest to be able to get that stuff, uh, which I already have picked up on my Titan. And again, this is pinnacle gear. This is going to give you pinnacle power, and personally, I am almost at the pinnacle limit. Almost, I think I have one of my stuff is 969, so very close, and I'm very much looking forward to doing some Iron Banner. As for Reckoning, this week the boss will be the swords. If you're looking for any of the weapons in the sword section here, for example, the Last Man Standing with one-two punch, it is available this week. 
On top of that, the weekly for the Reckoning playlist will be Solar Cinch. In my opinion, I love Solar Cinch Heavyweight with Thousand Voices. It absolutely decimates. For the Flashpoint, it will be taking place on IOs, completing the public events, Lost Sectors, and Heroic Adventures to complete this Flashpoint. As for Escalation Protocol, this week it will be all three. That's because last week was all three, and next week will be the infamous Shotgun. If you do not have the Ikelo Shotgun, I highly recommend you go and get it. It's not the number one weapon for PvE anymore, but it definitely is going to be in the top five, a very powerful weapon. As for the Menagerie this week, the boss will be Hasapiko, beloved by Kallus, the big Minotaur with the Shield Wall attack move. And the uh, regular mode's gonna have Void Singe, with the daily being Iron and Heavyweight. The heroic version of it will have things like Extinguish, Iron, Blackout, and Void Singe. And again, as always, I highly recommend you play some Menagerie if you haven't already, because being able to specifically select which weapon you want, being able to specifically select which kind of masterwork you want every single time you go through once you've fully upgraded that Chalice, or at least gotten those upgrades for the Chalice, is extremely powerful, and there's a lot, and I mean a lot of weapons in Menagerie that are amazing. Outstringer, Imperial Decree, Dust Rock, just so many specific things you can choose, and even the stuff that's not even part of that season. Amazing weapon. Like, for example, Aaron Till is an item in there go get yourself a god roll it only takes a few tries as for the nightmare hunts this week we have omnigal we have the fanatic and we have crota son of oryx if you want to complete any one of those it is available this week as for the garden of salvation challenge this week it will be zero to 100 during the sanctified mind encounter i think is the actual boss fight bank 30 motes at each of the vex relays and each relay all 30 motes must be deposited within 10 seconds of one another personally i haven't done this one yet so i can't make any recommendations but it, it definitely does sound like it's difficult moving on to ever versus inventory showing off everything that she does have available for bright dust and some of the featured items let's go ahead and take a look ignore all those bright engrams i haven't been here in a while <laughs> i think it's been a week and i have done a lot more grinding uh, but anyways let's go ahead and take a look we have things like the uh sir, 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 circadian chill we have the transmit effect for the box of tricks which i will be showing you because it is a new one which is something i have been looking forward to and i do actually want to pick up we have the ash angel uh vehicle which looks like the bobsled which is something that i really did like uh, the look of and then finally we have the distracted emote which is obviously you're just on your phone you're not paying attention stuff like that whoa i never even knew about this one i didn't even know this ship and this sparrow even existed i would like to see this one come in uh as a, as a bright dust thing oh and the playground ride oh i saw shacks on that at one point it's adorable check this guy check this out guys whenever this gets sold i'm buying it right away can you can you believe it? oh my god this is amazing It'll, it'll, it'll be really good next to my actual mini uh, mini sparrow. That's really funny. Oh, and this sparrow. I've never seen this one either. My god, they're hiding so many different ones from us. Moving on to... Whoa. Moving on to the Bright Dust section. We also have a repeat of Distracted. We have a vehicle here called Tip of the Spear. Something that I've actually never, ever seen before. I'm not exactly sure what this is supposed to be modeled after. Um... It's supposed to be something that familiar? I, I don't know, it just looks like a metal piece with a little pointy bit at it. Please let me know what the hell this thing is. We have a ship, we have the ornament for the Hazard of the Cast, we have an ornament for the Doomfang Pauldrons, one which I would would highly recommend you get because it looks really cool, lots of cool spikes, very nice war beasts kind of thing. We have the Titan Universal Ornament uh, for the Year 3 uh, legendary ornament stuff, and then of course we have some ghost projections, transmet effects, some shaders across the bottom here. Pretty straightforward, you understand the rest. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I I, I agree, it looks good, and uh, uh, yeah, it's just yeah. And just because we have one, let's go ahead and open a loot box. Wow, a 966 loot box. It's still not going to give me enough power uh, to actually benefit me here. But let's go ahead and open up this loot box. Let's say this way, this thing is definitely going to be an energy weapon. Let's see, we open it up. And, oh my god! <laughs> I did not. That was not planned. That was not... <laughs> That was so... That was absolutely natural. That was not edited or planned whatsoever. The last time I did that, I also called it correctly. We are two for two, baby, out of seven choices. Let's freaking go. I don't know why. The universe told me uh, energy weapon. It just told me. And I was like, I gotta pick it. <laughs> Nobody, nobody's gonna believe me, but that was totally legit. Woo! I got a high on that one. 
for Hawthorne's inventory today. We're going to, again, look at these 970, 67 uh, advantages. I'm going to save that for my Warlock. But uh, for Hawthorne's inventory, showing off the weekly raid challenges. First of all, we have Witch Witch. Uh, for the Last Wish raid, which is going to be part of the Shiro Chi encounter, so the second encounter, uh, basically don't get hit by the regular ball attack. You can get launched, you can get pushed, don't get hit by the regular ball attack from the boss. For the Scourge of the Past raid, we have Hold the Line, which is going to be the first encounter of the raid. Uh, in this encounter, basically do everything faster. There'll be a, a, a battery level next to the map, just don't let that go around halfway or close. Uh, to that uh, red section and you should be able to get this challenge to just go faster for the crown of sorrows raid we have limited blessings this is again going to be in the first encounter of the crown of sorrows and in this particular encounter only two people can have the buff at one time so pick two pairs of people that will swap the buff between each other it should not be that difficult just make sure that you're covering the middle between them and that's going to be pretty much it that's that's the end of the weekly reset let me know in the comments down below if i missed anything you have any questions concerns you just want to compliment me in my armor look i really like the way that this one turned out looks nice little smooth uh, glossy look with black and little red bits with some of the old uh, plasticity bits in it as well as did you notice that these legs are actually um, the dawning legs from like a couple of years ago <laughs> and then obviously we have the helmet which um, the helmet's actually something else but obviously Saint 14 is uh, the most common uh, super I use so anyways that's the end of it I hope you guys did enjoy my name has been Night Chronic and I will see you guys on the next one